So here's a story that seems like it's from the show Narcos. Newsweek says U.S. soldiers plead guilty to attempting to smuggle $1 million worth of cocaine from Colombia aboard military plane. So um, you have former Master Sergeant Daniel Gould, he's 36 years old, and Sergeant First Class Henry Royer, 35 years old. And they were both Army Green Berets, and they were caught when they attempted to transport 90 pounds of cocaine through a military aircraft last year. And uh, they're now facing ten, up to 10 years in prison. And um, so this story is fascinating enough on its own, but I think it's even more fascinating because of the questions it poses. I mean, when you're talking about smuggling $1 million worth of cocaine, how high up does this go? <laughs> like, the, uh, the reality of the situation might be that a lot of the shit that we see, like, in the movies and, and in TV shows in regards to the drug trade, a lot of that might be closer to the truth than, you know, we like to think. Like, one would casually believe that it's dramatized and they go over the top and it's really not like that. Come on, don't be silly. When you have uh, U.S. soldiers, Green Berets, smuggling a million dollars worth of cocaine, who else knows? Who else is in on that? Who else knows the, de the dealings? Are they just the fall guys? Is there somebody higher up that threw them under the bus who is like, are there fucking generals that know about how we're in on the fucking drug trade? I mean, listen, the, I, it's all, the answer has always been the same, man. Legalize, tax, and regulate drugs. That way you put the criminal thug uh, mega cartels out of business. If you put them out of business, they can't do anything. But if you ban the substance, you give them more power because then they have a monopoly. So the answer has always been the same. Maybe there's a, that's, this is one of many reasons why we haven't done the proper answer. Because there's a lot of money to be made in this criminal underground uh, system on the black market. It's a question to ponder. I don't want to sound too Alex Jonesy on you guys, but how many people are in on this? How many people are in on? I know you're not ever supposed to, uh, you know, talk bad about the veterans and the military. Yeah, play the bugle music. Yeah, you're never supposed to talk bad about them ever. Well, the story is th these are the facts of the story. Just even discussing it, one can argue, is, ah, you're smearing the veterans. So now I'm just posing the question, how high does it go? I don't know. 